In this next segment, we're going to look at changing the tempo of an entire song. That's right, we're going to change the tempo and all the tracks are just going to speed up and sound good doing it. Here we go. For this example, I'm using the same pop song I've been using at a tempo of 107 BPM. You can see that up in the tempo ruler at the top. We're at 107. Let's take a listen to it as is. Alright, I always thought this song felt a little slow. Let's see what we can do to speed it up. First step we need to do is put all the tracks in ticks mode. To do that, I'm going to select the all groups. I'm going to go over here and select all. And then I'm going to go to our little indicator here and change from samples to ticks on all tracks. You can see they all change to the little green triangle. Second step is I'll assign an Elastic Audio plugin. So I'll pick the polyphonic plugin because it's easy. When I do that, in the background, Pro Tools is going to be analyzing all these files and putting analysis markers out there. And um, once that's done, all the tracks are back solid and not grayed out. We can listen. I'm going to switch our tempo to something faster, maybe um, 115. Seems like what that should have been. Let's listen. pretty cool huh let's make that you know more of a really aggressive tempo dance tune of 125 Sounds pretty good. I mean, we could go through and individually go out, get out of uh, all group here and change the, the drums to the rhythmic plugin if we wanted and get a little bit better sound quality. But it really sounds pretty amazing right off. Let's say we, uh, we decide going faster is not the answer. Maybe slowing it down. 107 was the original tempo. Let's go to 98. Pretty amazing. How far can we go? I don't know. 78? Really slow. That's how you do it. That's how you change the tempo of an entire song using Elastic Audio.